Hey everybody, my name is Steven. We're going to talk about the law of vibrational energy today and how it relates to self-enlightenment, self-betterment, getting better and being happier. If that makes sense or it does not, prepare yourselves because we're going to start the video right now. Hey everybody, I'm Steven. I do these videos so I can help everybody, including myself, get better in life. I only have one life. I want to live it to its max and I hope you want to do the same. If you want to get better at life, then you should subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscription button and then tapping the bell and you will know when I do new videos. It costs you zero dollars. It helps you out and it helps me out too. All right, let's take a look at the whiteboard. The whiteboard's going to be discussing vibrational energy. Actually, I'm going to be discussing it and the whiteboard will be aiding me. Although if the whiteboard starts talking to any of you, let me know in the comments. Hey, frozen boiling and gas. What am I talking about here? Steam. We're talking about the different states of water. The reason I'm talking about this is because water is made up of molecules which have vibrational energies. These are three different states of one and the same thing. When water is frozen, boiling or gas, it's essentially the same thing. Gas in the form of steam. If you were to capture the steam, it would actually condense and fall back into the pot that you're boiling it from. So it's all the same. And that's what would happen if you took something out of the freezer that was frozen, put it onto the stovetop, warmed it up, made it boiling, it would eventually turn into gas. The reason I'm using water as an analogy is because, as we see over here, we have still fast and super fast. And what am I referring to here? I'm referring to the vibrational states of the water molecule. Water, however, is only one thing that makes up the universe. Everything has molecules, everything has energy, everything moves, everything vibrates, nothing ever stays still. You learn this in school. You learn about how if you, you know, take a piece of old glass from hundreds of years ago and you look at it and it's in a window pane, eventually the window pane is actually not going to be perfectly, um, glass is not going to be perfectly flat. It's actually going to be uh, thicker at the bottom because believe it or not, through all of the decades, the molecules are moving, even though they're not getting really changed, they're still in the form of glass. Well, molecules that are still not completely still that would be absolute zero and the theory that science is not i don't think everybody's ever achieved absolute zero tell me if you know in the comments at a still or very very small vibrational frequency water is frozen it's ice at a very fast vibrational uh, frequency it becomes boiling water and at super fast it has so much energy can inside of it that it cannot be contained or constrained anymore it actually evaporates so quickly the molecules are bouncing around with so much vibrational energy that it turns into a gas the point of all this is that we are all made up of the same stuff in the universe. Regardless of what you think, uh, your religious standpoint, or whatever you wanna look at it, we are all essentially the same thing. It's made up of the same stuff. So if you look at Wall Street Waddles, the, you know, the Science of Getting Rich, he talks about the, the form, endless formless stuff. That's what he's talking about, the same energy. So that's the law of vibration. So to bring this all back to how this works with helping yourselves and helping others out, well, nobody likes to be around a person who's slow, who's the Eeyore you know, character from Disney, who goes, oh, it doesn't matter, whatever, blah, blah. You don't want to be around that person. That person has vi bad vibes, bad vibrations. And then you have that person who's just full of life, super joyous, super happy. That's the person you want to be around, right? Well, when you put forth more vibration energy, you get to that point where you're happy, your attitude, your spirits are lifted, people are attracted to you. And that's the law of attraction at play right there. So what happens is we get from A to B to C, but if we stick in one mode all the time, and don't tell me you guys don't know people who are in that mode. A lot of you know people who are in the still mode. A lot of you know people who are in the frozen mode. You know those people. Those people are not great to be around. Are you secretly one of those people? Do you need to change your outlook on things? I know I needed to. And sometimes even to this date, I'm not in a great mood. But if I remember, it's just my vibrational frequencies and I can change those things by thinking positive thoughts and saying positive affirmations and doing good things, then I can get to that point where I'm getting to the point where I'm vibrating faster and faster and then special things really do happen. So I hope that makes sense to you. That's just a quick little video on how vibration works and how it can be equated from water to a human being to everything essentially. I'm Steven. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video. It doesn't cost you anything to do so and you might learn something in the next video I post too. Thanks for watching, sharing, and I'll talk to you guys in another one. Bye-bye.